So I do want to talk about this sale that's going on in MetaZoo. I know we don't really make or cover MetaZoo, and I don't own a single MetaZoo card. But my understanding is Card Shop Live is now trying to get rid of MetaZoo. Like, they dumped Flesh and Blood, even though they are now, as you can see, carrying Flesh and Blood. So Card Shop Live is cha was Channel Fireball, which is now purchased by TCG Player, which then in turn was purchased by eBay. So take that with a grain of salt. You assume that eBay has enough data on how active these games are. So maybe they're not dropping it, and this is just the price. So there is two different ways you can look at this. You can look at this as a player, and you can look at this as an investor. As an investor, you don't want to see your $140 booster box for $40 on a major website. So this is not a tiny website. This is a website that does a lot of business online. Again, they're owned by eBay, TCG Player, Channel Fireball. You can probably connect the dots. Yeah, you can also get these spell books. And I think the real value for the players are in these spell books. I play a lot of dead card games. And anytime a dead card game is under a dollar pack, it's, it's worth looking at. Now, Fire Emblem Cipher, which is a dead card game, you can probably get it for $4 a pack from Japan. Uh, so it's not that cheap to do. Uh, other dead card games, like a Digimon card game or something like that, I know Digimon's still going, but you, you can get them close to $2 a pack. You typically do not see, and, and we'll talk about the spell book, right? The spell book is very interesting because it comes with a theme deck, and then 10 packs, and then 60 sleeves. Basically, my understanding of the spell book, it's kind of like a elite, in, in terms of what it is, it's like a specialty set when you compare it to Pokemon. My dogs really don't like uh, Better Zoo, clearly. And when you talk about Better Zoo, like how is this investable? Like imagine investing in Cryptid Nation or spell books and you know, just storing it and just losing losing this much value but if you are a player this is a really fun game to play um, mainly because it's so cheap i mean i cannot imagine a dollar a pack for a living card it's not even a dollar pack i researched it it's 10 booster packs one promo one coin 60 sleeves another coin and a sealed aurora deck I think the deck itself is like $10, no? So, basically, if between the promo, the, the coins, and the sleeves, and the other coin, apparently, and the deck itself, isn't that $10? So, you're just free rolling on packs, is my understanding of how this is going to work. If you're able to sell the deck and the sleeves and the promo for $10, you got 10 packs for free. It's not bad. As a player, I mean, I again, I look at the marketplace. I do not think this is investable. And the reason I do not think it's investable is for exactly the same reasons I told you in, in the video. It just doesn't seem like it's high quality. It doesn't seem like it's going to stand the test of time like a Pokemon would. People tell me there's a TV show. Okay, I have did some research. I couldn't find a TV show. It's kind of like a magic movie. It's a lot of people talking about it, but very little updates on it. And we know how the magic movie turned out. Uh, they told me, oh, there's going to be a, um, um, an anime. There's going to be all this stuff. I mean, is there? Like, I, I, get, I don't play this game. And I don't have, I, I'm not, you know, I, there's not a monthly promo of my face on it, right? That's Rudy Chan. Alpha Investments, I would be concerned because this, your face is all over. The, your face is literally all just slammed on this product. Play mats and promo cards. Like, wouldn't you want this game to be more than like a dollar a pack? Alpha Investments is a big buyer from Dave and Adams of dead card games. As am I, because that's how we initially kind of knew each other, if you will. Yeah, I mean. I, even a dead card game like Buddy Fight goes for more than a dollar a pack.
and or even um even when that other card game died in uh, the U.S. but still kicking in Japan, Force of Will, which Rudy Chan also promoted. Uh, that's on Amazon for more than a dollar a pack. Actually, you know, let me check it right now. Amazon has a very low price in Force of Will. Remember, it's like forty dollars a box. Um, let's take a look at Force of Will. Oh no, actually, it's a little less. Um, it is twenty five dollars a box. You know, I might buy some force. It depends on which force of will. I'm looking at Atrocia. I mean, some of some of the oh, the, the one that I was looking at was the uh, Millennial of Ages. That's forty dollars a box, so it's over a dollar a pack, and you don't get a theme deck. So for forty dollars, right, you get forty packs, forty theme decks, two hundred and forty sleeves, and a bunch of coins. So then, wow, the newest set is only $25? Really? How many packs are in the new set? So Force of Will has a new set, huh? Still kicking it. And uh, so $25. Does, it's, I don't know how many booster packs is in Force of Will, but it looks, I would assume it's 36 There's another booster box worth $75. It's called Game of Gods. I don't know if that one's like their specialty set. Dragon Lord is $80 on Amazon. Yeah, anyway. Um, I don't have any issue of this. In fact, I think this is exactly... You might want to open packs cheap. Pokemon packs being how expensive they are. Uh, is, you know, if you have a pack opening addiction, I might get into MetaZoo. You guys know my feelings on MetaZoo, but for a dollar a pack... With a promo and 60 sleeves. I mean, I look at that and I say, you know, what other card game, dead or living, can you get this cheap in this type of quantity? Card Shop Live, they'll sell you 100, 200 of these things, spell books. I don't know. I mean, it's interesting. It's, it's very intriguing for somebody who has not put money in MetaZoo yet. Because I doubt it gets cheaper than $10 for a spell book. I, I just cannot see how that would be possible given the contents of a spell book. It's literally 80%, no, even, yeah, 80% discount. When is the last time a card game has gone 80% off? 80% off. Now, again, this um, the only one that I can think that's remotely close would be Force of Will and the Millennia of Ages booster box. I looked at that very hard. Because forty dollars a booster box is like wow, that's that's um, <laughs> that's something special. But uh, when you're talking about ten dollars for ten packs, I don't think you're ever going to see that price again for any type of card game. Or it would be very uncommon. Let me put it that way: it would be very uncommon for a living card game to ever reach that, not by design, but just by the secondary market again. By design, it was $50, and it just so happened to collapse. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.